So you want to learn JavaScript. Fantastic. But if you want to be rescued from the traditional boring training out there, I have a marvelous solution for you. Join me for my talk with the Code Avengers. This is how to become .tv. The goal with Code Avengers is to create an educational resource that is both fun and effective for learning initially JavaScript, but later web development and computer programming in general. I actually tried Code Avengers myself and completed the first lesson in what is referred to as the language of the web, JavaScript. I actually learned to use JavaScript to do calculations, find bugs in code, I created a prompt box, and I even found a way to redirect a robot in a game who had lost his way. I was able to complete the review test at the end of the chapter and win my first badge. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jace, what's the difference between Code Avengers and Code Academy? So, why Code Academy has received a lot of positive attention in the past few months for its great user interface and for frankly just being more enjoyable than similar sites out there, it was criticized for being too difficult for the total beginner. That is where Code Avengers shines because it was designed from the ground up for the total noob. If I can complete a lesson, do well at it, understand what I've learned, and enjoy it, anybody can do it. How do you work these things? I had a younger brother who was also who's at high school, and I taught him a bit of programming, and he was keen to to maybe help me out. Uh, so I thought, okay, well, let's get him to learn some JavaScript and, and HTML. He knew a bit of, of Java. Um, and so I pointed him in the direction of a few resources that I'd used a couple of years ago to help myself learn JavaScript. Um, so W3Schools, something that a lot of a lot of people out there have probably heard of. Uh, I pointed him in the direction. I sat him down for 20 minutes, got him to, to have a go. And then a couple of weeks later, I, and he said, okay, yep, yep, I'll, I'll, I'll go and do all those lessons on my own. I, I went back uh, two weeks later. So, how's it going? You've done all the, all the JavaScript lessons on W3Schools. Oh, oh, I did about half an hour. Oh, I've been too busy with my, with my homework, he says, as he's in the middle of playing a computer game. And um, a couple of weeks later, I found this, this game called Lightbot. I don't know if you've... Many people out there have played it, but it's had sort of thousands of, of, of plays on the internet. Uh, and it's a, it's a fun little game that teaches basic computer programming concepts. So I show that to my brother, and, and within about you know two hours, he's played all the levels. And, and then when I found Lightbot 2, you know, I, I, I let him know about that. And the following day, I go back, and he says, oh, yeah, I've completed all the levels. And, and I was like, okay, so he's, he's got time for something like Lightbot, which, which teaches a bit of computer programming, but is, is fun. But he doesn't have time for, for W3Schools, which I, I found quite good. Um, but it's not so fun and engaging for, for a young high school student. So I, I sat there and, you know, sort of thinking and said, well, hey, if we can, if I can create something which has the, you know, the game element of Lightbot, the, the ease and, and simplicity and simple, I guess, vocabulary that, um, that and simple instructions that W3Schools provides in combination with the challenge, exciting challenge aspect and, and theme of, of something like Hack This Site and put that all into one, well, maybe I can actually create something that my brother will, you know, both teach my brother JavaScript, but it's also something he'll sit there and, and do instead of playing computer games when he's got, you know, time to take a break from his homework. I think it's also valuable to take a course with someone who, with a good teacher, um, who can, at the same time, who can help teach you some of these things that will get you programming properly or, uh, from the beginning. I think one of the first keys for making yourself stand out amongst developers is good communication skills, uh, good interpersonal skills. So there's a lot of developers who don't have good communication skills they program in the day and they play computer games at night and barely talk to another uh, living human being face to face um, and so I think if you've got great communication skills I think that's a big one um, a second one I think is just being able to solve problems being a good creative um, problem solver so when you're doing computer programming especially working on you know tricky 
tricky problems. Um, every day you're faced with little tasks where, you know, you have to come up with creative solutions. And I think, you know, being good at that is, is valuable. And finally, um, something which I think will help you to make a lot of money, if you, if you want to be a programmer that makes a lot of money, is expertise in other fields outside of computer science. So, for example, if you're a fantastic computer programmer, uh, and you're also got a degree in finance or, or you know, economics or something, there's huge money to be made um, with some of the investment investment firms and the like. Or in my case, um, I speak a couple of languages. I have a passion for, for education. And so I'm able to combine my computer programming skills with some of that education stuff to create some really useful apps. This is how to become dot tv